After much delay, NASA's SpaceX mission is set to launch today at noon. Yes, and although this is SpaceX's fifth crew rotation flight to the International Space Station, this mission is set to be one for the history books. Joining us now is NBC News correspondent and MSNBC anchor Lindsay Riser at the Kennedy Space Center and former NASA astronaut and senior advisor <laughs> for space programs at the Intrepid Museum, Mike Massimo. Thank you both for being here. So, Lindsay, let's first start with you as we just mentioned this mission will make history in multiple ways. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Good morning, Savannah and Zinkle. So on this mission, they are going to be going to the International Space Station for up to six months. And you're right, this is a mission of first here, even though it is sort of the fifth crew rotation to the ISS uh, that SpaceX and NASA are taking part in together. This will be the first female commander for SpaceX. The first Native American woman in space, Nicole Mann, uh, who is the commander of this, is checking both of those box boxes. Also, the first cosmonaut will be traveling on SpaceX, Anna Kikina. And she's also the first Russian who is traveling on an American vehicle since a swap agreement was signed recently. Remember, this is amid tensions between the two countries because of the Russia Ukraine war. Um, but there is a swap agreement that was signed. And that means essentially that an American will hitch a ride on a Russian vehicle. And uh, likewise, a cosmonaut will hitch a ride on an American vehicle. Now, some other uh, personal notes to celebrate some of these firsts. We know, uh, for example, uh, the pilot, John, uh, his kids helped design the patch that's mm. on their uniforms. We also know Nicole Mann will be bringing a dream catcher that her mom gave uh, up mm -hmm. with her. Let's go ahead and listen to what uh, Commander Mann uh, has said about the mission. I am uh, very proud to uh, represent uh, Native Americans and my heritage. You know, it's interesting, we're all from very unique, different backgrounds. We all came from uh, different educations and different job specialties, and it's really great to see everyone coming together. And the commander has said that she's most looking forward to spacewalks and also uh, taking part in some of the really cool science experiments we can get into as well as Inkley and Savannah. Mm, really incredible. So cool to hear about each of these people that's going up there. And definitely interesting on the cosmonaut part, which you're just talking about here with Mike Massimino, yeah. who's on set. We love when you're here, Mike. Oh, Let's talk through here. exactly what's going to happen. Do we think there could be a delay? Because NASA and SpaceX have said mm -hmm. their readiness review mm -hmm. was complete, but that they're working on three open issues. What does that sort of mean? And also also, we know it was already delayed because of Hurricane Ian. How do you, are you feeling confident this will happen today? Uh, I, I, I am. Uh, the, uh, the weather is in the past right now. The, the spaceship is ready to go. Uh, there's, I think there's a 90% chance of good weather, which is probably as good as you're going to yeah. get. You know, the 100% is like, oh, you know, they're never going to probably say that. That's unusual. Uh, but the issues they have don't seem to be showstoppers. They might sound like it. One is a thrust ve vector control, thrust mm -hmm. vector control in one of the engines so they can steer the engine. But they found that issue, and they were able to correct that. Okay. They also had some communication issue with the, with the recovery ship for the booster. So if you see, these launches are really cool. Yeah. Where oh, they, yeah. they, you know, the, the spaceship goes off, and then the booster comes back and lands, which yes. uh, allows it to be reused. Uh, and they can land them out in the ocean now, even at night. So that platform that the booster is going gonna, is gonna, to, the launch field is going to come back and land on. They were having some issues with the communication with that. Uh. But, uh, but they think they've got that fixed. And then the third thing was a, a leaky fire extinguisher, which is a portable fire. So I think they, they're able to handle all three of those. And the weather looks good. So I think they're going to go, yeah. But, it, I, you know, I shouldn't, I, can I take that back? Yeah. Because yeah. I might say that we have trouble. Uh -oh. So I don't yeah. want to jinx anything. Yeah. We'll Not jinx you, but, but that's good to hear. Also, yeah. I think it is confusing when you're like, well, are there open items? How exactly. can they just head to space? Yeah. But, you know, that makes sense. And I think that's, I guess what's coming through maybe is my thinking is that you want to be ready to go. And the yeah. crew wants to, you know, they're ready. And if they don't go, they'll come back another day. But the. Uh, the way you want yeah. to look at this, the mindset I think you want to have is that, yeah, we're going. Yeah. And, Mike, you talked about the nice weather there. So, Lindsay, I want to bring you back in because you're experiencing it. So let's talk about the mission ahead. When the crew gets to the International Space Station, which is so cool, how long will they be up there and what will they be doing while they're there? Sure. So uh, if all goes as planned today, um, they're going to get up there and dock with the ISS probably sometime tomorrow afternoon, maybe around four or five. It's a pretty long rendezvous with the ISS um, and, and they're going to be up there for five to six months. They're going to be conducting 
more than 200 science experiments, some really cool stuff. Pilot John Casada has mentioned he's really looking forward to some of the physics experiments. Mm. Uh, the Japanese astronaut who's on board, he's looking forward to measuring uh, and studying oil-like substances in low orbit that could eventually possibly be used for, for a pressurized rover, for example, on Mars. We know uh, Commander Mann, she has said that she's looking forward again to the spacewalks. And, and there are some also really cool biomedical experiments they're doing. The astronauts are going to be wearing special suits uh, where they're going to be studying all of their biometrics. And also there's a 3D printer on board that they're bringing with them. They've already uh, tested uh, 3D printing uh, knee cartilage. They're going to be studying uh, stem cells for heart as well. So, wow. um, so just some really incredible world-class science experiments, by the way, that helps set up deep space exploration. We've been talking about Artemis and the steps that they're taking today, possibly tomorrow, if it doesn't go off today, um, will help set up for that. Savannah Amazing. Amazing. Such cool stuff going on. Mike, also, before we let you go quickly, what about Artemis, though? That yeah. one's been delayed. What do we think is going to happen there? Uh, well, again, I'm, I don't want to make any predictions because <laughs> I haven't been so good with my predictions with these launches. But uh, th th they had a rollback because of the hurricane, yeah. and they decided not to try to rush it to get into this next window, which would be around the middle of October. They're going to. So you, it seems like there's, there's a. What it is, is you have about a two week window to go. And then a two-week window the way you can't go because the moon's not in the right place. And then another two-week window. You can, so they're going to wait until uh, mid-November to uh, to look at that next uh, that next window where they can go. So we'll see. We'll see if that uh, if that comes off. But that's because right now the the, the rocket looks good. The spaceship looks mm -hmm. good. It's in the barn though. It's in the vehicle assembly building. So they have to bring that back out. So they want to make sure that's ready to go. But also, there are people who live down there. A lot of people are working on, on that project mm -hmm. who are still recovering from the damage that might have happened mm -hmm. to their homes. The Space Center looks like it's in great shape, but they still want people to have that personal time to recover. So they want everyone back. They don't want to rush this. This is important. And they'll try again in November. Mike Massimino, our expert, and Lindsay Reiser, thank you both so much. Appreciate this fun conversation. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.